All right, y'all. Welcome back to another video here on the John Doc YouTube channel. We got projects rolling. We just started up the Silverback Z06. Uh, if you guys saw that in yesterday's video, pretty sure it was running four cylinders. Uh, we had a rock arm issue. The Chinese rock arms uh, failed us. So we're trying to fix that stuff, but the bottom end. Uh, that motor it's a beast. Uh, TKM built 427. It's got the black sheep cam there. It's a big, mean son of a gun. Uh, but. As you can tell by the title in today's video, we are back with the cow on the dyno, and today we're going to turn it up some. We made some wastegate poles uh, the other day with no ice in the ice tank. It's got an air-to-water intercooler on it. It's actually a Pro Charger 6th-gen um, ZL1 intercooler that we made new brackets for and adapted to. Jeff Short up at RPM did that, and uh, for being a small intercooler, it works really well. Uh, even with warm water in there, we had 60-degree intake air temps, which, I mean... You can't, you can't really beat that. Uh, ice it down, they'll, be, they'll start off around 30 some, and uh, we'll make a little bit more power. So it made 710 wheel horsepower uh, through a four, or sorry, through a power glide, um, nine inch rear, and I mean, it's just a good, it's a good working setup. So um, we are, this dial's pretty rough on numbers, I will say. Uh, we're gonna try to turn it up some. We are going to turn the boost controller on, and we're gonna make some power. We got Phil in the background, guys. It's like 11.30 and Phil's on his second lunch. Second lunch. This is breakfast. What are you eating? <laughs> what are you eating? What's for breakfast? Is that some like rough cut? Uh, a mixed struggle. A mixed struggle? Yeah, it's a hardwood egg from uh, Carly C's and wine bread. Do you heat it up? Yeah. No, you're supposed to put like mayo and a little bit of mustard and it's like egg salad. Oh, I got mustard. Oh, I got mayo. Egg salad. Egg. Spell it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think I need to get a battery charger on this thing because uh, I've been killing the battery slowly and it doesn't have enough time to charge. But we just iced down and uh, we're gonna make it happen today. Hope we got a good day on the dyno and the cow checks out. Uh, the reason we're doing this, check and see if we got a fuel system issue. If it's leaning out when some of the secondary and the third pump's supposed to come on. Wastegate pole, put a little ice in it. That shows you how much intake air temps can pick up horsepower. Uh, we picked up 25 horsepower just by icing it down. So 
Uh, felt good, felt clean. We didn't even have a computer in it, so we're gonna get a laptop in it, get a log on it. Uh, we're gonna turn up the boost. I'm gonna add uh, six pounds to the gate, we'll see what it makes, make sure air fuel is good. Uh, air fuel on that, everything was good, and uh, no complaints. Smooth curve, I mean, 10 pounds of boost, 735 wheel horsepower through the glide. Can't beat it. Sorry if everyone's complaining about the fan, I gotta keep the fan on it, so that's just part of life. So y'all can, it's loud as shit in here, y'all are just gonna have to deal with it. All right, so starting off, we're just gonna put five pounds on the dome. Previously, I would just go like eight and 16, but we're just gonna go uh, five pounds on the dome, see what it makes, so we can kind of have more of a range of what it makes power-wise. Uh, but hopefully it should make more power with five pounds on the dome. Uh, it's pretty soft, but uh, we're gonna see what it does. After that, I'll probably go 5, 10, 15, uh, and then we'll, we'll kind of be in the range of where we're gonna live at the track. So uh, it's just good to know where it's at. So I'm gonna set the camera back down here. Hopefully you can hear some of it. I know it's loud, it's right by the exhaust, but uh, I got no west here, so this is my tripod. Ben, two thumbs up. Yeah. Everything's good. Perfect. Uh, made 855, 14 pounds of boost. So pretty, um, I mean, that's still lazy on timing. Still, still, yeah, what are we at? Like 17 degrees? 18, 18 degrees of timing. So. We could be at like 22, honestly. We could probably be at 21, 22. A lot of meat left on that bone. Yeah. But that's like 14 pounds of boost. That's like. Yeah. It'll keep the head gas going. <laughs> you like that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we're gonna turn it up, we're gonna put another, another five on it. Uh, I, I, I imagine with another five, it's gonna make, you know, in the 950 range, it'll probably take another 100 horsepower. Uh, now, when we're talking about dome pressure, something I want you guys to know, we're not talking about boost. Uh, dome pressure is just the number that we're putting on top of the wastegate to help pin it shut. So, it's tough, they don't all correlate. On the black sheep, up to 30 pounds, they correlate one to one. Uh, this one, uh, it's a 10 pound spring. I have five pounds on it, made 14 pounds, so, very close, but it's tough. Don't, don't, guys, I don't want you guys to get confused with what I'm saying. We're putting five on it. I'm not putting five pounds of boost in it, where I'm just putting five pounds of CO2 pressure on the top of the wastegate. And what that does is that keeps that valve shut, directing more of that air into the turbine wheel of the turbo, opposed to when it opens, it bleeds some of that air and that pressure off. So, what it comes down to is that that number we're talking about, dome pressure, all that is is you can correlate that to compressor speed. You're gonna make that turbo spin faster, suck more air, make more boost, so. What you gotta say to the people? I think it's time we turn her up. Yeah. 850 on 14 pounds, that's pretty smooth, huh? It, it sounds more violent, doesn't it? It doesn't really sound that violent. It sounds like it did the other night. It's loud as hell in the car. Going down the street is not that hard, but... No. It, but right there up against the wall. And I keep wondering why everything's falling from the ceiling and the wastegates point up. Phew. Yeah, they're just knocking everything. All the dust hey, out the ceiling. That's all right. We're going to have fun. Oh, yeah. We're going to have fun. I'll, I'll see Look at Chris. Fun. Chris Chris has got to stay out there because she's scared all that horsepower. <laughs> all right. So we're going to make another pull here. We let it cool down. Had a little meeting. And uh, 10 pounds on the dome. We're going to let it rip. See what it does. guessed it like dead on. 227 KPA. 229, 230. Minus 33, minus 14. So like 19, 19 pounds. 
actually 34 minus would be 20. So it's like right at 19 pounds. Ben literally put it right on. He's like, yeah, it'll probably be like 980 or How so. Let me see the keyboard. Let me see that keyboard real quick. Looks pretty good. Oh, fuckers! Doug! Damn, bro. Oh, oh, my God. I saw that. That was crazy. <laughs> hey, they went like this. Hey, that's crazy because both the gates are four departments we have. I know. And what's he not the light off this is turbo? Swallowed up. So you added fuel and it went lean? No, we went you went up in power. You went when you go up in pressure, he doesn't if you're making pulls back to back to back that are consecutive and they're the same power, it's the same thing. You, when you go up in power, you go to a different range in the map. You know what I'm saying? Is that map lean? Yeah. So I added and it's still lean. So, no, here's the thing is, at what point do you think it's a fuel pump issue? Like, it could be losing fuel pressure. I mean, right now? You want to try it on the same level? Add a bunch of fuel? Yeah, add a bunch of fuel. Ben told me if it goes to between 12.0 and 12.5, pay attention, and I had no idea what number it was. That could have been 14, and I had no clue. Are you logging fuel pressure on it? No, I don't have. All right, so you can log fuel pressure for HP tuners, but I don't have it set up. I just got a manual gauge. So stand there like this with a flashlight. Hey, so you got a gauge? Yeah, I know. All you got to do is have somebody watch it. Yeah, it's literally what I'm just saying. Ben and I are hanging out way too much. I'll stand, I'll stand on the dock. Yeah, we know you'll stand Logan on the dock. You'll have anything to live for. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Logan, grab a set of headphones. Logan likes to touch the exhaust for fun. Hey. <laughs> no hair. Oh, hell. You got a Addy safety glasses. And a helmet. Hey. You'll, you'll light bubbles off the trailer park, boys, when he's riding his go-kart. Can we put it that, that, hey. That's a whole lot rattier than it was before. Hey, did you put an adapter on the fuel pressure gauge and then just tape it to the roof? Hey, why don't you just put the GoPro? Hey, there's not going to be much of a roof left. Look. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Me, myself, and Ryan, all these cars that have been awesome for so. All right, guys, so after that last pass, it was a little bit lean, so Ben went in there, added some fuel. It made 989 horsepower to the ground, um, so add some fuel to it, give it another rip, and see what it does. Look a lot better there. A lot of that said around 11.8 most of the way. Yeah, no, that was good. Uh, the was, uh... Is that uh? I got 6,500 RPM. Is that is that same uh dome pressure? Yeah, that's uh 10 on the dome. Here I'll tell you. Right. And how much? How well, much more did up, it make? It went up one kPa. So, so it made. It made another 10. I made another. Made about 20. Yeah, about 20 horsepower. Alright, well, let's go up to the booth. Alright, let me add some more. Okay, it's 11.9. We'll go 11.7. Okay, well, we'll add some fuel. Uh, and I'm gonna go, uh. I don't know. I mean, I think it's true. Like, the routing of the waste gates and everything might be more efficient, might be making more power. What What was the dome pressure at there? 19? Uh, 15. 15? 15 on the dome. And what do you usually track, put at the track? It's like, like 22. 20. Yeah. Well, with this turbo kit, I've only ran it once and it broke the gear. Uh, so it might be blowing better. It might be spinning the turbo harder. It might be, yeah. Um, what the fuck is 
Ten on the dome. That was more sharp. Ten on the dome. To the ground. Wait, I thought you said it was 15 on the dome. No, it's 10. Sorry. It's 10 pounds on the dome. 19 pounds of boost. And how much do you usually run at the track? 22, 23? Yeah, we're 20. Do you want to see what 20 is? Yeah. yeah. Boy. What are you saying? Hey. <laughs> so, the, yeah, the, the boost controller is a slippery slope. Like, it'll, you'll get, you might gain a ton, 10, 5, but then, like, 15 to 16 to 17 to 18, 19 might be, like, 30 bucks. Like 10 yeah. And then you have to really start cramming it with a ton. And then you might go five pounds. more and it might be like a ton. You might only pick up like three pounds of boost going from like 20 to 40. But then you go to 45 and it's like a substantial increase. Yeah, well, at that point, it's, it's just kind of work yeah. harder. So. You have to I mean, basically know your setup, huh? Yeah. I, all that is is just data. But that, the biggest issue was we didn't want to go to the track because we kept cutting out. And uh, what do you say? I mean, obviously it's a lean cut. But. End of hey, now, man. Down to five. Down to five. Yeah, no, look at Chris. Tell him, tell him I said he's good. He said that shit's weak. We definitely do need a guardrail there. Oh, I have it back there. Oh, is it? Like everything else I do. Nine. Nine. Oh, is, is Ed back? Ed. Ed's back hanging out. Oh, yeah. oh, don't go Ed the mailman. Tell him about how he's the king of RC cars. King of RC cars right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say what? Yeah. This thing's about to make a whole lot of power. All right, guys, so we're gonna make one last pass just to double check everything air fuel wise, and then we'll know, you know, fuel pump wise will be fine. Uh, we're gonna put 20 on the gate. So the last one was 10 on the gate, made 19 pounds, 20 on the gate. It should make, I think the last time, 16 makes 22, so it should make 24 some pounds ish. Would you say 24 probably? Yeah. So if it makes 24 pounds, that'll be right where we're gonna be. That's gonna be our ceiling at the track, and, um, to be the most on the gate we've ever ran on the dyno because I mean I don't know but we just need to check the fuel make sure the fuel's good so we've been adding fuel throughout uh, so hopefully it is uh, it was definitely lean and that was our suspicion so uh, we're just gonna make sure everything's good and go for it. Sound good at all. I shit my pants. I I need a change. But that's what it would do down track, and I'd stay in it and do it two or three times. Did you shit your pants then? No, I mean it's kind of like a sense of relief because we have a log on it now. Yeah. And we have air fuel to to, to go that. along with it. Look how deep it dove there. It's almost ten. Hey, was I supposed to watch that Ben with my eyes? You see the air fuel dip? And I dig it. It's almost 10-0 right there. 
Then it comes up. Yeah. Wait, so it went rich? It, it was very, so it's solid right there. Goes very rich. And then it's just like, Then it's nope. kind of like, okay, okay. Then it goes super lean right there. <clears throat> is that what it is? What? Map sensor. After 80 oh, miles an hour. Yeah. And then it goes lean. Yeah, you need a real free board. I need Holly, EFI. Yeah, you put a Holly on there. Yeah, I, you, can, you can change to a regular, like, free board, free board. Can you have one? You know what? This drives me absolutely nuts because Chris just said, I bet you're maxing it out. And I said, nah, I don't think it is. I uh, it, the turbo gets more efficient now with the new hot size. With the wastegates. Like, like, yeah, the new hot size. And it's just making so much more power on this effort. So you create it more, you're, you're having the ability to make more boost. The wastegate location. If, if you're making a wastegate more efficient, it'll make less. Boost. We made the wastegates less efficient, but more efficient for drag racing because we like boost and to party. But I think just, I think it needs a single well, sixty. The only, again, but straight and simple. The only change we've done to it is the hot side. We've only changed the wastegate location. Well, he changed the size of the the size of the cold side. It's three inch now instead of that tiny ass little two and a half inch. Or, no, 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 that's, that's, that's the same. Exactly the same thing. Yeah, the only thing he changed was from, but, he so here, here's the difference. The wastegates before sat right here, to, like direct downstream. So they would dump, like, the, I, I mean, it's they're harder for the air to get out now. Yeah, which so I mean, more, I don't. More, the same pressure will make, will make less, will make more boost. With less dome pressure. Yeah. Which I don't care. Because before this it's, coming, it's coming straight yeah. out. It's right coming, here. It's coming straight out. That's easy as hell. Yeah. If you were to, if you were to put this thing like right here and backwards, it would be like having a 20 millimeter race gate. Yeah. But my thing is, there's nothing wrong with the fuel system that it just makes more boost. And then, like, this thing might be making 30. You don't know, but it just backs the map since they're out of the freaking out. All right, so what's the solution? I put a three bar on it. And how much more room does that give us? Another five pounds? Uh, yeah. So wh wh where does that max out at, 25? Am I damaging the heads or is it going so lean that it just shuts like it? No, 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 no. It's, we don't have a load here really good. Well, I heard a set of heads by doing something similar to this before. <laughs> Hence why I have ZL1 heads on a SS. LSA heads. Is this a ZL1? No, no. It's got LSA heads on a LS3. It's a ZL4. Yeah. Oh, oh. It's a Z24. It's Colorado. This has two spark plugs per cylinder. It's actually an eight cylinder. But it's Whoa. Hey, can we just give a shout out to Chris's shirt? I don't know where he got it, but it looks good. Shout out to Proline Danny. I don't know. Wow. If he, did he send you shirts? Uh, no, I stole it. Is, we know we're not leaking those. Yeah, no, boost. we're not leaking. We're not leaking boosts. Not leaking push rods anymore. No. Oh, and, oh whoa, right, whoa. So, also, on that, I said, I, yesterday's video, I put a comment down saying that uh, there were some push rod issues, uh, rock arm issues. Uh, that has been alleviated. When you guys heard the car running, it was on four cylinders mm -hmm. with a bad miss. All that valve train noise was uh, two bad push rods and two bad rocker arms. Swapped that all over. Ben's been grinding on that all day. Got that thing hammered up. Now it's just leaking out horsepower. Now it's just leaking out horse pressure. And Joey horse put pressure. the bad apple together. So Ooh. when we come out of this quarantine, mm -hmm. everyone's mm -hmm. getting corn gapped. Full pressure. Full pressure. So, um, yeah. Oh, and new shirts for Ben coming out here shortly. Ben, finally, the people have asked. Ben has his own shirts coming out. They'll be sold on the LS Nasty store where you'll have a chance to win a turbo and or our next giveaway. See, me and Ben first thought and said, you know what, it may not be, it may be a track thing. And then I sat there and thought, well, what the changes were from you pushing it the way you were before when you took it off because you're breaking rear ends and everything else. Yeah. But during the meantime, you did the we did this. upgrade. So the only time we've been uh, to the track with this is we went down to Florida where it had the fuel cut issue in Piedmont where it broke the dip. Yeah, so it's, it's make it's obviously it's making more power, but it's all boost related. It's making more boost on this, those same settings. So I literally had a note in my phone that said what pound of boost made what horsepower, just kind of give me like a basis of what to go off of. That's not right, no. It and it's off. I was I mentioned it earlier in the video. Ten pounds on the dome was making what twelve would, and it was gravitating as it went up. 
So, do you know the differences in like what it was before to what it is now? Just like we're putting CO2 on top of it, it's, there, it's not a direct correlation. So no, no, I'm saying like to the previous like setup, you know oh, what I mean? I, I was making another 100 horsepower, I was making 100 to 150 more horsepower same thing. On, the, on the same... So it's tune. that much more efficient yeah. now? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean efficient and inefficient it's in the same boost. thing. It's yeah. just, ma it's making more power. On less on dome, less pressure. dome pressure. Yeah. So, um, but it doesn't boost creep. It doesn't boost creep. I mean, it's it's there. So no, it's, I mean it shouldn't with twins. Oh, I think. Corona. Quit. It's Quit. like being. Shout out to Twelve O Zach with a new beard. Look at that thing on point. We got one. Don't put this in there, Jello. <laughs> Look at that thing. Hey, it's making that much power and the max sensor. doesn't know how to do a mediocre burnout. Right?